Through much research and many transfers, we found the perfect recipe to get that beautiful rhizomorphic growth we wanted. MYA, or malt yeast agar, is an amazing agar recipe. This recipe gives the perfect nutritional source from the malt extract, but the addition of nutritional yeast will promote that booming rhizomorphic growth in your mycelium cultures. Nutritional yeast can be found in most health stores or online and comes in various forms from powdered to large flake. Both of these are good, but you do want to make sure you grind it to as fine of a powder as you can. We experimented with many different recipes and we really feel like we've perfected this one. So when creating 500 milliliters of agar, you wanna use 10 grams of agar, 7.5 grams of malt extract, 0.25 grams of nutritional yeast. Yes, that's 0.25 grams of the nutritional yeast, again, to create 500 milliliters. When working with the nutritional yeast, even when you created a fine powder, it will leave a cloudiness to your agar and particulates. We've tried straining this out and it's still there and it's okay. We have not experienced any contamination. It's been a really positive recipe with just so much rhizomorphic growth. So the particulates and the cloudiness are just not a problem at all. Again, as a reminder, if you have any condensation, just flip your Petri dishes or your jars upside down. We recently had a comment asking about the temperature of your agar before you actually pour it. And we have found in between 120 to 140 degrees is just the perfect cooling temperature to start pouring. Thank you so much for joining us. Again, thank you for subscribing. And we're really excited to share some agar tips with you in our next videos. So make sure that you ring the bell to be notified when we have new videos for you.